This question is mostly testing the concept of rates, specifically constant rates. And so when we have linear equations especially, the numbers that are in front of our variables are usually going to be a rate in some way from the story. So in this case, they're not asking about the, the two rates individually, but we are going to need to know them to be able to answer the question. How many more hours does each online training course take than each on-site training course? So the, the reason, it's basically, we just need to match the, the number with the letter, right? In this case, it's not hard because we really couldn't mess this up, but um, X is the number of on-site training courses. So then what is this 10 that's attached to the X? Well, if X is the number of on-site training courses and 85 is the total number of hours, then it must be the case that 10 is the rate, the number of hours per course. So that's the, the first part of the question. Uh, how many more hours is each online training course um, oops, sorry, I'm messing up the, the phrase. I, maybe that's on purpose here. On-site training course is 10 hours. So that's the, 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 the X comport up portion, but it's also the smaller number. And in the online training courses, those are represented by the Y. So that's going to be the 15. Either way, we really just want to have a positive number here. 15 minus 10 is 5, which is the answer. But there will be more complicated equations or stories that still involve the same basic idea that when you multiply a number by a variable, usually in the story, the number represents some sort of rate. And we can often use the rest of the story to understand the units of that rate. In this case, both the 10 and the 15 are hours per course, right? Notice it's a rate because it has two units. That's usually how rates are gonna sound is they are kind of like a, a per or per for each. So we should get used to that kind of phrasing. It's gonna come up a lot on every SAT.